Welcome back. This is episode three. Um, done a quite a bit more work on this than the last time you saw him. Just um, started to refine some of the uh, some of the features of this character. Um, it's not really much to explain though, because a lot of it was just like um, if I take this arm for instance, a lot of it's just um, clay build up and just you know a tedious amount of brushing and pushing and pulling you know of different areas I think I was using alpha 12 as usual to get that sort of soft uh, goo like feel to my stuff um, but yeah that's it's just you know achieving all this detail is just a very time consuming thing really you know I can't really teach you how to sculpt this way you know I just I think about you know trying to make everything sort of interconnect and it's all sort of like quite tight you know on the different areas of these balls like coming out uh, there's quite a lot of refining I like to do and I may go up to the next subdivision level depending on how it would look the thing about doing you know higher subdivision levels is that do you really need them I mean the purpose of this model um, is to make a game texture you know and if you think about the resolution of these textures that are used in games you know let's take this arm that I'm using right here right I mean if I was to put this arm on let's say you know a 1024 by 1024 size texture that is only a thousand pixels right and my my screen res I think this is about a thousand ish pixels up and I've got to fit this entire character so the model or the actual image of this when it's a flattened down 2D texture is only going to be like sort of ye big maybe like that big and the detail looks absolutely fine from this distance so I don't know, just don't over detail things you know think about what it is you're actually using the model for you know do I need to go up to this next level because if I go up to a next level um, I'm going to have to re-sculpt everything to get you know the look that I want to achieve and it's going to take really really long especially on that you know because every time you go up in a subdivision level it takes you much much longer to refine it because you're working with a lot more polygons four times more in fact than what you have on the current level so all the disease you know divides it so just you know I'm going to leave it at this level I guess uh, I think I have enough detail from what I want to get out of it but that's literally what I've been doing, you know, every now and again. It's a bit tedious. Um, I think grinding these things out is a talent in itself. Like you just get better at the more you do it, I guess, you know. Uh, that's pretty much all that's left on this character, you know. Uh, I've just got to grind out all the different details, all these different slimy sort of residues and all that stuff, so. Um, yeah. An interesting thing that I am going to try out with this is trying to integrate like zippers into the uh, the clothing that you're supposed to have, um, which is kind of all nightmarish and gooey anyway. So, and I just want to give her a hint of that they're actually supposed to be cloth-like material. So, I'm not quite sure how I'm going to do that yet. Um, yeah, I need to finish off the fingers on this hand, so I may as well do that for you in this video. Um, it's probably gonna be quite boring, you know. Um, I'm gonna do each finger separately, um, just because it's a lot easier to work within the gaps and that. Or maybe I'll just do like one finger, you know. It's just, you know, there's no point showing you the same thing over and over again. But um, yeah, it's gonna be quite finger-like. Even I mean, on the actual sort of biro sketch we've got here, it's quite kind of liney and veiny and that. So I may actually just try that out on this finger here is literally using clay builder brush to sort of give the illusion of that sort of ripping and tearing along its finger so I want to be really faithful to the uh, the, the style of concept art I've got here given here you know so when you draw with biros it's you know usually ends up being that detailed you know just because of the way a biro works you know you only have one thickness of line and that is you know pretty thin so it ends up being extremely detailed and and I like 
I like the look of that, so. The thing about working with this res though is that you have to kind of compensate for the polygons that you don't have, kind of thing, you know. But it will look, it looks fine though once you bake it in, which I'll show you later on. Um, uh, that's the thing about these tutorials though, is that I can't show you everything. As you know, most of the time it's quite similar. You know, it's just me doing the same thing, but in different ways. I don't really even show what I'm doing. You know, I just it's kind of weird when you sculpt this way. You know, when you sculpt in like proper heavy sort of you know all this detail and stuff, because you kind of like zone out. Well, I do at least, and I don't know, I always find myself daydreaming a lot, and it's weird because. If I'm not consciously thinking about what I'm doing, my hands are just still working away whilst I'm thinking of something else. Like, I don't know, like, uh, it's just all this random stuff. You know, what what's happened throughout my day, you know, maybe some specific social event happened with my friends or whatever, and I'll be thinking about that. And my hands are still, you know, <laughs> doing what they're doing. It's kind of weird, profound in a way. Uh, I always find it really hard to do this for like long durations of time. I don't know if that's just me being lazy or if it's, you know, just a talent. You know, I've been, you know, doing the same thing over and over again for a long period of time. The grind. That seems to be the skill I need to practice. And I always give in to this temptation of just doing nothing, you know. You know, you just think, oh well I've done a bit of work today, I'll do, you know, but it's not enough, you know. I need to sort of fight through that mental barrier and just do do this, you know, more than I sh um, at this point. <laughs> the thing about sculpting this way as well is that you often get a lot of these kinks and a lot of these things that don't look right. So sometimes you just got to use your move tool and just look at things in different angles and see where the lines aren't quite right, you know, where it's not quite sort of streamlined, I guess. I talked about this in my shark character when I was trying to make it look like all muscly and stuff. It just looks better when you zoomed out a little bit, you know. But, you know, this sort of type of detail just takes time. Not really much to say. I think this model is going to look a lot better when I start to polypaint it, to be honest with you. Because when you you, uh, you sculpt so much intricate detail like this, you know, lines and stuff, and sometimes it gets a bit confusing to figure out, you know, your eyes don't quite understand the forms. Um, but once you get some colour in there and the contrast between the darks and the light colours, it usually helps spread a bit more, um, you know, a bit more easy to read forms, you know, it's a bit more readable. So I might polypaint this heart. Uh, Let's probably paint this arm when I'm done with this finger sculpting. Just to see what it looks like, you know, I'm quite curious. Uh, I've never really detailed something to the extent of adding ridiculous amounts of, like, cysts and stuff, like these, you know, these balls and stuff like that going on his arm, so... I'm quite curious to see what it's going to look like with his body paint, you know? Uh, see what that's looking like. That's looking okay. Um, maybe let's just say it. I mean, I've kind of explained everything I needed to explain, I guess. Yeah. I had an odd experience last night. Do you know that these <laughs> these um these shock videos on the internet like um two girls, one cup and all that shit. Well 
last night I received a link to one guy one jar right now the title suggests it's obviously because it's a shock video you know I assume this guy would be sticking his jar up his asshole and that's pretty much what it turned out to be you know I wasn't I'm see I like I don't like shock videos but my curiosity gets the better of me whenever I hear about you know a hyped one like this for instance and I'm not easily shocked or I'm not easily like grossed out you know I just I don't know it just doesn't really bother me you know I just I'm, I like to think that I'm a very rational person and you know I just I'm, I'm not saying that I understand why these people do that you know they obviously have some really weird <laughs> I don't know weird desires and shit but this video though man it actually did surprise me a little bit because I obviously knew it was going to do I knew it was going to be some guy doing some freaky shit with a jar right and you know there was just when the video started it was just like a guy uh, with this there was just like a a jar on on like a wooden floor and stuff um you know it took a while and then suddenly these legs appeared right <laughs> and then slowly the guy starts to lower himself down and I, I didn't know what was going to be shocking because I didn't find this particular um, I don't know, you know, it just wasn't that shocking, you know, people shoving stuff up their ass and that, you know, it's been done before uh, and I thought he was going to like shit in the jar and then eat it or something, you know, I found that would be pretty shocking but no, it wasn't that the actual jar exploded, you know, it broke. All the glass, like, exploded inside his ass. <laughs> it was so fucked, man. Oh, this is just like a big pool of blood. And he's just, like, literally clawing this glass out of him. It, it was... It, I did cringe a little bit. You know, it was... It was probably... I don't know. Worst video I've seen, I reckon. Shock videos, anyway, you know. I'm not, not bothered about gore and stuff. But that was just, you know, I never expected it. It was really, you know. <laughs> yeah, you should check that video. If you're one of these guys who think, you know, you, you're you not easily offended and shocked. Yeah, that video is pretty bad. The one thing I am scared about these fingers or concerned to be more appropriate word is that these are really detailed. I mean it does it com it becomes quite apparent because you know, the detail on the arms are quite large with these big balls and the detail on his fingers are really intricate. So there's a big contrast in terms of, you know, them being quite noisy in a sense. And there's gonna be especially when I texture these and put them into a two D kind of format. Um I don't know how if it's going to look weird, if I should smooth them out a little bit and not add so much detail. Just for consistency's sake, um, I'm still a little concerned if they're going to work or not. I mean, they may look creepy and everything, but I don't know. And I'm just really not even thinking about it then. When I was explaining that one guy, one jar thing, you know, my hands were just literally just doing their own shit. <laughs> it's pretty cool. For his fingers, I'm just gonna make them look like I don't know, like try and taper them off a little bit, like these lines just sort of eventually turn into this kind of rock-like material at the end. I'm just gonna slash you up in that. Uh, that's pretty much okay. Probably need to integrate these a little bit better. So it just doesn't end the detail, this doesn't end abruptly. 
Um, kind of really would like a bit more resolution down here, but you know the texture is going to be so tiny on the hands, you know, compared to the rest of the body. You know, I like to keep everything in proportion. You know, that's why I'm concerned concerned about how many lines you know I put in here. This it probably isn't going to show up like very well in the uh, the actual texture of the game. We'll see. Edits can be made really easily. Well, that looks pretty weird. Looks pretty creepy. I think the knuckles are a bit close, like easily solved. Uh, I'm just gonna put a bit of bend in this as well. I can probably get away with doing that res. Twist them around. And I'm just gonna mask like that area. And yeah, let's get my transpose tool in there as well. Uh yeah. And just do the same for this bit down here. Transpose that as well. Get a bit of that knuckle. Maybe I can start a play around with um just to extenuate that bend a little bit. Right. Play around with this knuckle shape. Maybe flatten out these edges a little bit. Uh, just to give it that like, evil sort of finger look, you know. The knuckles are like ridiculous looking. <laughs> and we'll see what that looks like. It's probably a bit too much bend in there. Bend that out a little bit. But I think, you know, when you're making hands, never keep them flat. You know, when you see these people with like these. They just look like, I don't know, they just look so weird when they don't have bent fingers, you know? But I think that looks okay. I think it, you know, maybe if I add some lines in these gaps between these big sort of knuckle things. Um, yeah, I don't think it looks bad. Let's bring by the rest of the model, let's see. Yeah. Say it's staying true to the concept, at least. But I think if I sort of you know add a bit more suggestive detail like lines and stuff around there, it'll look a lot better. Yeah, that looks fine. Just have the uh, just have to do the rest of the model really. Um, got to detail his legs. Got to do all his arm. Make it look like this with cloth and shit. Um, make the zips. So he's approaching completion, but. A lot of work, lots of work, and there's no shortcuts either. You know, it's just literally brushing. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna take quite a while, but I don't. There's no, I don't really feel the need to do many more videos of me sculpting um, because it's a lot of the same, really. Literally, like I just did that finger. You know, it's just time-consuming sculpting. You know. Um, so the next video, hopefully, I will have this done, and I'm gonna start to poly paint. I'll oh, actually no, I'm gonna figure out. I'm gonna make these, um, make the uh, the zippers and stuff, and then, yeah. All right, that's pretty much it, guys. Turn this video off. Short video, only 20 minutes. Um, yeah, that's where I'm at.